Now, I watched a video the other day about the ingenious design of a beverage can. And I agree, I think the engineering behind one of these cans is outstanding. The fact that it can withstand such high pressures, that it saves so much space and material, it's insane. But I have a problem with it. And it's not necessarily the engineering behind the can, but rather the improper discarding of one. You see, you see when these cans are littered, they become the perfect traps for small mammals. And here's how. There are four main reasons why cans like these are so effective at trapping animals. One, the residue. Canned drinks are full of sugar and there will always be residue left at the bottom. This is what attracts the small mammals and insects to climb inside in the first place. Two, the metal flap. When you open a can, you push a thin piece of metal inside to leave a drinking hole. It's this metal flap that, when the animal tries to climb back out, can block the hole again. This completely seals off the exit, and the animal can't get out. 3. The pull tab. This one is slightly complicated. The pull tab is used to push that flap in. It's hinged near the middle to act like a lever. When animals enter, the pull tab has loads of room to create an opening. But when pushed back as the animal exits, its movement is restricted and so partially blocks the hole. So even if the flap isn't in the way, the tab reduces the size of the exit. 4. Sharp edges. This one is pretty self-explanatory. The rim of the drinking hole is incredibly sharp, thin metal. For a small animal, even a simple cut proves to be fatal. But why does this matter? Well, I've picked up countless cans, and only a small number of them ever do have a dead animal in them. I think I've found four at the most. But when you do find a can full of black, rotting goo and a stench in it, it's, it's a stark reminder of how vital our small animals are. Inside a can, they just rot away and avoid any natural cycle of predation. In nature, everything has a chain reaction. So, reduction in the population of rodents will reduce the population of predators, such as owls, hawks, foxes, and stoats, um, which are all animals that the public admire. So, even if a shrew, a field mouse, or a vole doesn't seem important, they truly are. So, so what can we do about this? Well, stop littering is the obvious one. See how many cans I have? Although cans are metal and aren't really considered as bad as plastic when it comes to littering, they still take about 200 years to degrade down. And it's not only going to prevent the wildlife impacts, but recycling these cans is hugely beneficial too, because beverage cans are actually recycled in a closed loop. So the material recycled... <laughs> Betty, you're so funny. So the material recycled from one can... <laughs> So the material that is recycled from one can will then go on to be the material for the next can. But here's my favorite tip of all. Crush the can once you've used it. These cans are designed to be flimsy. What are you doing? <laughs> These cans are designed to be flimsy once opened. So use that to your advantage. Crushing a can won't only make you feel like you have super strength, but it also prevents animals from climbing in in case you accidentally drop it whilst you're on a hike or something. So even if you can't be bothered to take your litter with you, at least it's not gonna have a huge impact. And in fact, multi-stream recycling plants, the ones that have sorted recycling that most people use, actually prefer crushed cans because it saves space. So there's more space to put more material into a recycling bag and therefore less miles driven per batch of recycling. All these little things really do add up when a whole population is following them. So even something as simple as that will have a big impact. So next time you're drinking from a can, appreciate the magnificent engineering behind it, but also be sensible with how you discard of it. Crush it, put it in your backpack and carry on with your hike. All right. It's beautiful weather here in Cornwall. Spring has pretty much arrived, so I'm gonna go adventuring. And I hope you do too. See ya. Come on, Betty. This way.